Hey guys, Jason here from Bex Outdoor Adventures, bringing you another Lucky Tackle Box unboxing. Um, we're doing this is gonna be a part one of a two-part series. We're doing the Battle of the Boxes. Um, this is the uh, Lucky Tackle Box Panfish Edition that we're doing. Sorry, my door just opened up. Let me get that real quick. The dog wanted to come out. Anyway, today we're gonna do the Lucky Tackle Box, and in a few days I'm gonna do Mystery Tackle Box, <clears throat> and we're gonna compare the two, do a slam on both of them, and see which one was best for the month of uh, June. Um, anybody doesn't know what Lucky Tackle Box is, it's on the subscription, you pay $15, and they fill the box up with tons of baits and stuff. Um, I like to use the Panfish Box because I do like to use multi-species, so the Panfish Boxes do a little bit of everything. Um, I will put a code down below in the, in the uh, description that will give you uh, $5 off your first box if you want to go ahead and give it a try. So let's go ahead and open this up and uh, See what we get. A little heavy this time. So the first thing you get inside there is your golden ticket card. Uh, basically, you go on to their uh, YouTube channel every 20th of the month, and they talk about all the different baits. Most of the baits they're going to talk about though is going to be for the bass boxes, uh, their pro box. But they do these random drawings on the numbers that they put on those cards, and you can win all kinds of prizes and stuff. So let's go ahead and get this open. So, we're going out there, they give you a $5 code to use off your thing. And then also on the back of this card, they give you all the different uh, baits and the prices of what they uh, cost if you were to uh, break it down. Another sticker. I wish Lucky Tackle Box would give us a different sticker. They keep giving us the same one. Fish Hound Magazine. They actually gave us the magazine this time. Last two couple boxes, they've been giving us the um, what's it called? The uh, calendars. So, and this is basically just talks about if you want. To, they don't really do any books for the panfish. I wish they did. But this has got Danley Dudley, he's, uh, or David Dudley, excuse me, uh, talking about crankbaits for the summer for uh, bass fishing. So let's go ahead and get inside this box. Get rid of this piece of paper. First thing I'm going to start off with is the Northland Tackle Mimic Minnow. Find that bad boy. are actually pretty cool. Uh, they're the Northland Mimic Meadow bait fish. You get two pre-rigged jigs. Um, they are a pretty wild color, uh, pink and blue. Um, I do like these. Um, I would probably end up taking, you know, at the time those baits are gonna, um, let's see if that'll focus in, those baits will get tore up. Um, those are gonna be pretty cool and I'm gonna bounce those around. The beds, our bluegills are starting to bed real heavy right now. And uh, we're going to get that. And that Mimic Meadow Bait Fish retails for $3.19. Next thing we got is the Garbage Bait Company, which is an interesting name. Um, they are little um, trash tubes. I don't know if you can see them. The glare on my camera is pretty bad. They are just little tube baits. They're really tiny. Um, they're a black and white color. Um, when your fishing is in the dumps. <laughs> Um, trash crate for fishing for crappy panfish and trout. Um, these guys retail for $2.99. They're one and a half. Looks like there's about 10 of them in there. That's those guys there. Next thing we got is fish food pellets, two inch worm shad. Uh, artificial food lore smells like fish food, then fish food. This is from a company called Stubby Steve's. I'm going to have to open this one up because I can't see what it looks like. So let's see what this is here. Let's open this bad boy up. Okay, so. So what it looks like is they're little pellets. You can see that, and you just break them off. They kind of 
they remind me of power bait, but they smell like um, actual flaked fish food. And then they give you a little rolled up tube of them that you can break off and make your own. This would be good if you're going to fish under bobbers and stuff like that. They do stink, though. They smell just like flaked goldfish food. And these guys retail for $4.99. Next thing we got is the Panfish uh, Assassin Tiny Shad. Oh, yeah. These are pretty hot. These are um, one and a half inch chartreuse little grubby tails. These are going to be really good. Tournament winner's choice. Uh, they are short, or excuse me, not chartreuse, but lime truce. But they are pretty cool. Sorry, I'm going through this video too, uh, pretty fast. I'm just trying to get these done and out of the way. Um, those retail for $3.19 a piece. Um, the next thing we got is the Rod and Bob's. Um, does it all combination fix and slip bobber. You can always use bobbers. Um, fix bobbers if you want it to leave in one specific place. You tie it. It's got a, I don't know if you can see it, but it's got a little spring. You pull that spring up and you slide the line in there and it stays. Or it's got the slip style where you can run the line down through. And then it's pretty cool. It comes with a hook. The uh, It's weighted so it's going to cast out a lot farther. Um, you can rig it for fixed rig or slip rigging. That's pretty cool. It's nice bright colors too, so it'll be good to see it out there. And this retails for $1.99. Uh, let's see here. Next thing we got is Arbonine Black Nickel Size 1 Hot Hooks. These are going to be great for crickets, worms, stuff like that. And these guys retail for $1.99. And last not least, Lake Lunkers. We get tons of Lake Lunker stuff in. These are um, paddle tail shads. Get that little paddle tail, it's gonna swim through water, chartreuse color. No chartreuse is this box. Uh, these guys retail for four dollars. And I think these might be the extra bait. Sometimes they throw in extra stuff in here. And uh, they go for them. I mean, overall, the box is good. I'll definitely be able to do a slam on these. Uh, combination is gonna be you know, live bait, or I'm gonna run like a, uh, a maybe one of those little two, uh, chad baits over top of these. That'll be a good combo. Um, Jig heads on top of these guys through the beds is going to be good. Um, or actually, you might not be able to use this hook, um, but I'll be able to run a uh, inside that bobber comes a smaller hook. I'll probably be able to do that with these uh, artificial fish food baits. Um, it says it stays on the hook all day long. Uh, two baits will be easy on a little small jig heads I got. Probably run them under 1 16th ounce. And the mimic mill. So this would be a pretty, pretty good uh, box to run a slam on. Um, yeah, like I said before, link down below to get uh, five hours off your box. Overall, pretty impressive this box. A couple days I'll get the mystery tackle box. We'll go ahead and do the unboxing for the battle of the boxes. Guys, thanks for watching. Tight lines and have a good day.